hope you're aiming right If I'm on sight I'm not afraid to die How you? No I'll be dressed in white White light White light Everybody. Welcome to today's video. If you guys are new, subscribe. If you enjoy, give it a thumbs up today. We are starting the, well, we kind of already started the video with that beautiful, you know, cause I'm like a freaking cinematographer or whatever. Like I don't look, I don't make the rules. I wanted to start today's video with something that I have not done yet. And I noticed I kind of didn't do on my delivery video of the GT4. I'm going to try to incorporate maybe another car in today's video, but I, like, come on, when you buy a new car, everything's about that car. And I even said that last video, I just got a lot of content I want to make with it. But for those who somehow are here or are new, I did recently buy a GT4. And in the delivery video or in the first drive video, not once did I talk about the exact specs and options of that car. And I felt that that's not right. I should do that. So now we're here with my window sticker, which is laminated because I'm official or because the previous owner laminated it. But I'm going to go through and explain to you guys the options that are on the GT4, the sticker price that's on the GT4, and what I paid for them. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. You guys don't get to know those things. Those are secret information because I paid $25,000 for it. So. I got a deal. <laughs> Starting with the color, you guys don't get to know the total price until the end. So, I'm going to put it here, you know, so it feels like I'm not just boring you guys talking to you guys. The color, obviously, on that car is Carmine Red. There was very few color options that I would have gone for on that car. Only would have done black, just plain black, if it was like the right spec and I couldn't find one in jet black, or obviously jet black metallic would have been ideal. Carmine Red, there was a couple moments in time where I could have done a GT Silver metallic, only with the intent to to do a satin clear bra. So then it kind of gives you like that, almost that AMG satin spaceship, should we call it, silver. But I definitely would not have kept it stock. I'm not a huge fan of silver cars unless you do that. And I think satin clear bras make a lot of cool colors look cooler. Or I guess less cool colors look cooler. And then obviously last was Carmine Red, which is a color that I've always loved on Porsche. I love that typically production numbers on Carmine Red are lower. I'm not positive of that. I'm just guessing that to be on most other models, whether it's a 911 or even Caymans. But I know for sure on the GT4 it was one of the lowest production numbers as far as color goes on the GT4. I think the only ones they made less of are obviously going to be paint sample cars, which I think there's about 42 in America that are documented, unlike the registry, which I almost actually purchased a Voodoo Blue car, but this car just made more sense. And then I think there's less jet black metallic, and then there's less of another color, but I can't think. But long story short, Carmine Red was one of the rarest colors, and I absolutely love the color. I love that it almost looks maroon and dark, and I love that it almost looks looks bright Ferrari red or kind of sometimes even guards red in the light but I'm not really a fan of red cars I don't like guards red at all especially since that color doesn't really change at all but it's very dull to me but Carmine's very deep and I love it and I'm very very excited with how it worked out that is a $2,600 option stitching in guards red which is a $1,090 option extended range fuel tank so the car has a 17 gallon fuel tank opposed to I think like a 14 gallon or a 15 gallon then we have the PCCBs the Porsche carbon ceramic brakes which was a big deal for me I was not not gonna buy a GT4 unless it had PCCBs because I've never purchased a car with carbon ceramics and I'd always heard really really good things about Porsche's carbon ceramics in specific so I felt especially with value and performance wise I didn't want to buy a GT4 without those especially even for resale most people are gonna want those on their car the only thing I had about them was they are yellow 
So, the reason I found a car that had red stitching was because I'm not a huge fan of like the McDonald's red and yellow. But Carmine Red with yellow calipers looks great. If you disagree, you disagree. I actually think that actually works really well. But if it had yellow stitching, I think it would have been too much. That's my opinion. I don't know. It has the Bi-Xenon headlights with PDLS. That is a $690 option. Another one that I needed on the car for both value and performance purposes. I guess not really performance, but like drivability purposes. It has the electronic logbook that I think goes with the Sport Chrono. I could be wrong. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think that's what it's for. $570. Dude, some of Porsche's options are just absurd. This car is a really, really big sticker price, though, just for those who did not know. Then it has a Sport Chrono package with the Track Precision app, which is almost $2,000. That is another thing I would not have optioned without, just because it's such an important option, since these are cars that are supposed to be at the track, and most owners are going to want that. It has the telephone module, so it literally has a little Porsche phone that I think is always somehow connected to service. So, like, I think some sort of cellular service. I think if you were in a scenario where you don't have service, I think that can call someone. It looks like it's from 1995. I don't know why they put like a home phone in a car that was built in 2016, but I have a Porsche telephone. So you know what I mean? And maybe it'll come in handy one day if I get stuck in a forest with bears. I don't know. Um, it has Sirius XM. I don't care, which is $1,000. Wing supports in black, which is another thing I really needed. It has the headlight cleaning system covers in the little color, which is that little tiny bump on the bottom below the headlight. I would have never spec that. It's $295, but so be it. Deviated carbon fiber floor mats with leather edging, 740. I love those, actually. Something I probably haven't even showed you guys. It has, like, these carbon fiber looking floor mats that almost look more like a gutted floor. It doesn't actually look like a floor mat. It almost looks like the car was gutted, which is something I like. Like, I like to feel like I'm in a race car that doesn't really have carpet floor mats, right? But it does get really dirty, so that's one thing that kind of annoys me, but it looks cool. Leather key pouch, vehicle key painted. Those are two options that come out of like a little over $500. I also have the Alcantara key pouch that I think the owner might have gotten done custom made, unless that's an option here. Because I have one that's leather and one in Alcantara. The one I like to use is Alcantara, and it has stitch. It's cool. And then it has pedals and footrests in aluminum. Love that. Then it has the carbon fiber interior package, $1,200. Another option that I would not have gotten the car without. First of all, I wanted a fully optioned GT4. This is a very, very high spec GT4. The only options that were a must was carbon interior trim, carbon buckets, PCCBs, and a color that I liked. Those were like the four really, really, really important ones and the Sport Chrono. Everything else didn't really matter to me. It was kind of all extra. Then the carbon fiber buckets, which are $4,700. Then it has the PCM with navigation module. That's $3,000. Wheels painted in satin black. I wanted black wheels or alloy colored wheels, like the silver wheels. I didn't want the gray. I hate the gray, to be honest with you. Even if your car's gray, it sucks. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. <laughs> center console trim and carbon fiber, 630. I didn't know you could have a different center console trim than you could the rest of the car trim, so that's odd. I've never seen that, but that just is what in my head was a full carbon trim. Storage compartment lid in Alcantara with the Porsche crest. I love that. Always love that. That or the Porsche on it. I don't really, or just Alcantara. I don't even care. Sun visors in Alcantara. So the whole car is pretty much covered in Alcantara or leather or carbon. The build quality on this car is impeccable. Instagram cluster surrounded in leather that's $370 past by the way the past like four options are all totaling like $2,000 with the wheels being painted online services the, the trim storage compartment, whatever those are all like $600 $300 whatever and the steering wheel column behind the actual steering wheel is all leather with that red deviated stitching so maybe that's where that other extended devi whatever deviated stitching option comes into handy and then seat belts are guards red important if you got a stitch interior you got to match the seat belts and then last but not least the fuel cap with aluminum look finish aluminum fuel cap. A lot of people actually do that aftermarket if it doesn't come with a car. To me, it just looks like plastic that's covered in aluminum. Maybe it's aluminum. It doesn't seem like the best. I wouldn't need that. I don't even care. You don't even see it. I always was confused when specking a Porsche online that like, do I need that? I, you can't even see it, really. It's not that. Whatever. Which, after delivery processing and handling fees of $1,050, that does, I don't know why I'm telling you guys these things, the total sticker price of my GT4, it's a big boy, especially with the paint being a $2,600 option, not a base paint. And if this was a PTS car, the first owner probably would have paid another $15,000 over sticker price for getting a PTS car. Um, my sticker is $121,570. I don't know why I said the dollars, but $121,570. So I'm in the 120s. I think the highest spec GT4 is like one, maybe 130 at the max if you literally were to put in every stupid option. Most cars are gonna be below the 110 mark. Some cars are even below 100. A very well spec car. I'm very, very happy with it. So if I didn't say it already, welcome to Driven by Jordan.